folks in today's video tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a curve network with splines and we will create a 3d model for next example how to use the boundary blends we will start from scratch so we will define the name for the model and we will create directly sketch it feature I will start in 2D for better orientation and over here I will create the center line because I would like to specify a couple of dimensions so this offset value will be 200 and the first shape will be definite by the spline you can set the points where the spline will be placed and at the end you can finish middle mouse button. The system will show you the first dimensions and you can specify for example here 100 and on the bottom will be 50. What is the necessary next is to define the orientation or definition of dimensions here. So if you would like to select the dimension for the end of the spline, select the spline with control button, select the end of the spline and reference. If you select middle button, system will show you the dimension and on this side I would like to use the 90 degree and on the bottom we will use the same so select the spa, spline, end point, reference and middle button and over here we will select 120. What is possible to define next is the manipulation with the shape of the spline so you can select double click and the system will show you the points for the placement so you can specify your custom shape yeah, and you can simply to move with the spline points the shape is up to you and you can confirm the spline definition you can continue on opposite side so i will continue with second spline it will be placed here and for example we will use only start point and end point of the spline we will define again offset value so we will place it here to 50 and on the bottom will be offset 35 and if i would like to create end point dimensions so select spline control end point reference middle button and specify for example 87 degree and same here and over here will be 100 degree so you can see like smoothly right now our spline is definite on right hand side okay if you would like to continue you can do it directly here so select the line and you can see that system allow to me to specify the additional points and then i will continue if you would like to create again the connections, create a dimension, 90 degree and opposite side. On the bottom, we will continue with the same logic, create spline, and over here, I'd like to reuse the constraint so we will use the tangent between two splines. Select constraint tangent, one spline and second one and on the left hand side one spline and second one. Perfect. So over here was the example that you can manage your shape of the spline with the dimensions or you can use the constraints. Everything is defined we can confirm OK and our first shape of the sketch is ready. And we would like to continue with the another lines. So right now I don't want to create the another sketch. I'd like to create a datum curve and we would like to reuse the end of the points. So simply select the one point and over here on right hand side in second point use the control button 
and then you can select over here that you would like to create a normal. So select normal to the reference. System will show you how the orientation it is. And again, on right hand side, select the normal to reference plane. If your curve is not going in the same direction as you need, you can switch arrow. Then the visualization of the line is really good. Great. We can continue with the same create datum curve. And again, specify the end conditions. You can see here how the system works. So if I will select this one, the system will automatically change, for example, from free to normal, but system asks you for normal reference. So it's always good. If you do not know what to select, use the information from the ribbon and the second endpoint. Again, you can use it here and specify the information. So simply select the 3D information from the menu or directly from the ribbon. So over here you have seen both example how it's possible to create the additional curves. What we would like to continue, I'd like to create additional curve, but we will we would like to reuse the points. We will create the new points on this curve, and you can select curve. And the system will ask you about the ratio. If you would like to place it directly in the middle, you can specify, for example, 0 0.5. So it doesn't matter what is the length of the curve, it will be directly on the middle. And a new point over here, I would like to place, for example, 75% of the length. So you can see here that it's possible to change the end of the curve and the system automatically recalculate the placement of the points. If you would like to do not want to use the percentage but real value, so please change it here from ratio to real and the system will show you the real number. OK. Simply you can show the points and if you would like to see the notes of the points, jump into View tab and over here is possible to show the point tag and then it's the better or quickly to select the necessary points if you will create the datum curve again. So I would like to create curve between two points with the control button select and again you can use the right mouse button and select the normal for example and, and again on the opposite side and change the orientation over here we would like to tweak a little bit this curve. So what does it mean? I'd like to add some points to the curve and manipulate. So in the option type, it's the possible to select the tweak curve and tweak curve settings. You can select the information that you would like to add more points. So please select this button and add points and you can select how many points you would like to add. So for example, this is the first point and over here is the second point. And then you can move the points. So please select the move and move with points. If you would like to add more points, again you can add and then again you can move. If you finish, you can confirm OK and the system will create for you modified curve. OK. For example, this 
this 3D model will be suitable as some remote control. So we would like to create some additional lines, for example, some display. So we will continue with the additional sketch. So you can see that if you work with the preparation of the surface 3D model, you are working with the curve and sketch feature. In the sketch, you can, for example, use the function offset and specify value, for example, minus 15. Close OK. And again, we can continue with new datum curve and we will specify how it will be created. So, for example, the curve will be definite from one side to one other one. And again, right now we would like to use the tangent. So if we will use the tangent, the system will ask me select reference. I will select existing curve and on the right hand side, we will use the same tangent reference to existing curve. And you can see that it looks really, really nice and same. We can tweak the curve a little bit. So at points, And move. Come from OK, and everything is ready. If this 3D model in the future will be some remote control, so it will be great if it will create some buttons here. So the preparation sketch for the buttons, we will create a sketch, select the sketch plane and in the sketch, we will create, for example, the ellipse feature. Use the dimensions. Come from OK, and then you can reuse the pattern feature. Minus 15, and for example, will be five buttons here, and in the second direction will be minus 25, and will be, for example, four additional rows for the pattern feature. If you think that your ellipse is so small, you can really easy edit the sketch. And it will be looks really good. Okay. In today's video tutorial, you have learn how to create curve network with the splines and how to define the sketch feature and datum curve features for the next boundary blend functionality. Stay tuned. We will continue in next tutorial. Bye bye. Vladimir.